Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy. Today I'm going to talk about why you would want to decouple the sensible and latent loads. So last week I discussed DOAS units and how they allow you to decouple the sensible and latent load. The DOAS system handles most of the latent load when it dehumidifies the outside air before it enters the primary airstream. Then either your chill beam or LSC system handle the sensible load and a small amount of latent load in the space, like the lights, computers, and people. In case you don't remember, the LSC is our series fan-powered box with sensible cooling coil. So let me make a little bit of room here. So in our DOS system, we are only bringing in ventilation air to the space. So this is a much lower volume air that you would have compared to say a VAV system. So let's look at this. Let's say you have a 40 by 60 space and you have 30 people in it. ASHRAE 62.1 says that you need to bring in ventilation air based on this calculation, which for this, we'll call it a classroom, is 10 CFM per person plus 0.12 CFM per square foot. That comes up to 588 CFM. So the actual supply air would be the greater of your ASHRAE 62 ventilation or how much air you need to handle any latent load you have in the space. Let me make some room again. So the ASHRAE 62 number is 588 CFM and the latent load gets you somewhere around 900 CFM. Now compare that to a VAV system at one CFM per square foot gives you 2400 CFM. You can see that 900 CFM you need for this system where we decouple the sensible latent load is the lower airflow, which means you'll have smaller ductwork and a smaller fan, which means a reduction in first cost and energy cost. So what's a good application where you might want to decouple your sensible and latent heat? You really want to look at something where your sensible load is greater than or equal to 70% of your total load. That's really an an excellent opportunity to to use a system like this. Also with the system, you're using water to handle the space load, and water is a much more efficient way to transfer energy. It's actually about 3,500 times more efficient than air. So putting that another way, a one inch water pipe can transport the same heating and cooling capacity as an 18 by 18 inch duct. So that's why you might want to decouple the sensible and latent loads in a system. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.